Hello, my name is Azatro and welcome to another Stars Back From video and in this video I'm basically going to be talking about a little bit of news that has happened over the past few days, nothing major so I will be talking about just before I get into the details what sort of news has happened so if you're not really interested you can click off it's nothing major but I thought Battlefront fans may want to hear it. So there was a lack of Battlefront at PlayStation Experience, I'm going to be talking about that as well as EA's acceptance of the lack of depth within Star Wars Battlefront and on top of that the date we can expect to see the full patch notes for the recent patch of Battlefront. So to kick things off I'm going to be talking about Battlefront at PlayStation Experience. A few of us were expecting maybe a little bit of an announcement for something but it was literally just showing off Battle of Jakku gameplay and Battle of Jakku was available to be played on the PlayStation 4 which let's be honest isn't anything major because most of the community already has it because they pre-ordered the game but anyway moving on we can expect to see patch notes for the recent patch which happened last week for Star Wars Battlefront a little bit later than uh, usual but it is, it is pending approval from the developers and uh, Matt the community manager did, did say it will be available on December the 8th most likely that's what he's aiming it for and he's changed it from dev speak to obviously gamer speak to make it easier for people to read so it should be out tomorrow I'll upload a video tomorrow breaking it down for you guys just making sure it's even easier for you to understand to see what's actually been changed within the game finally EA did accept the lack of depth within Star Wars Battlefront so CFO Blake Jorgensen did acknowledge that Battlefront was initially designed to be accessible he said Star Wars Battlefront is a first person shooter but is one of the only teen rated team rated first person shooters he said we had a, designed it to make it much more accessible to a wide group and an eight-year-old could play it with his father on the couch as well as well as a teenager or a 20-year-old could play the game and enjoy it. It is more accessible and for the hardcore it may have not had the depth they wanted in the game. So yes, it is true that the game doesn't have the depth of say Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Halo 5 Guardians which are in the same genre but at the same time it's quite a robust game just like the others and remember this game is quite trying to go for the Star Wars audience which is anyone spanning from a really young age to a really old age you know so I think that's what they've tried to go for and they've tried to make it friendly to as many people and they've done a good job of that at the sacrifice of not having the you know the depth we've ha experienced in previous battlefronts or battlefields for example but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy it be sure to give it a like rating and comment below if you have any uh things to talk about uh, what i've spoke about in this video and i shall see you all in my next battlefront video goodbye